All right, Coach Pickett here today talking about stuffing Bulgarian bags. So Bulgarian bags, a workout bag, uh, a lot of times used by wrestlers, an amazing tool. Uh, you can buy them off the internet. We prefer to go through Vicious Fight Gear, uh, get customized ones there. So we're going to talk about stuffing them at the end. And then uh, look like this. A lot of different exercises you can do uh, with these. They come in different weights. Uh, we're going to first stuff the corners, then we'll talk about stuffing in the sand, and then last, filling them and uh, tying them in. Thanks for joining us. All right, now what you're going to fill with before the sand is going to be just fabric. So we've got a bunch of cut up fabric, looks like uh, towels or shirts or the stuffing that goes inside of any stuffed animal. So you're gonna take that and you're gonna shove it way into the edges. So you take this and you pack it down in as tight as you can get. And you do have to go a little bit at a time. You can't wad up a whole bunch, shove it in all at once. So just take it a little bit at a time, pack it in. As long as it's getting in there tight, then you'll be set. You don't want any space. You don't want it to be wiggling around. So once you get it packed in there, it should be pretty tight and you should be able to feel where it's loose. And that's where you need to pack in a little bit more, get it a little bit tighter inside of there. I usually like to pack about to the seam right here with the fabric. And then we're going to fill the rest with sand. Depends on the weight of it, but typically that's where you're going to go. You're going to go about to this line, fill it with fabric, and then the rest of it will be sand. All right, so when you're putting sand in, I like to put bags in first. So we're going to bag it. We're actually going to double bag it so the sand doesn't fall out. So take your bag, you're going to shove it in, make sure the edges get into the back into the corners and then we're going to start we're going to pull it open like this and start to fill it with sand so make sure it gets all the way in back to both sides and then we're going to actually double bag it so we're going to throw in a second Once you get these all the way in, then you're ready to start filling with sand. And we go pretty close to whatever the bag says. So whatever the bag says, we'll throw in sand till we get real close. Then we'll start weighing it. And we'll decide if we need to get more sand to get to the weight or more fabric. All right, it works best if you have someone else holding it open. You scoop it in. After you get a decent amount in, then you'll kind of work it around with your hand. So shove it in until it gets close to the top, shake it down, and then you'll pack it into the sides first, and then pack it into the middle. All right, so we've got this one full of sand now. It's ready to tighten up, ready to put in the string. Um, instead of just having the bag exposed, usually people put in a fabric, uh, we're going duct tape today, so we got a couple layers of this. We just packed it in there. That way, no sand will come out. There won't be any uh, leakage happening. So from here, then we're going to start putting the string in. And there is a little method to this. So when you're putting this first one in, you're going to put it in from this side. And you're going to run it to the far side and back in. Now doing it, you can tie it any way you want, but doing it this way will allow you to tuck in the knot afterwards. So once you plug that in, we'll end at that end, and then we'll just start here, and we'll go from side to side. So we're gonna come in this way, so from inside out, and then we're gonna go opposite on the other side, outside in. There we go, inside out. And then just keep weaving it this way. After you get about halfway done, then you'll go back and you'll have uh, someone help you tighten it. Outside in and then inside out. You just keep weaving back and forth. Alright, we're 
about halfway done. So you have someone kind of squeeze it and then you'll rip these really tight and this will pull it all the way together. So your bag will actually look closed even though it looks like it wasn't going to be closed before. Let me just keep going. We're about half done with the string. You can actually hear someone getting some of that bag work in. You want to flip around and record him for a sec? <laughs> Alright, almost done here. Quit farting around and get these last few holes in. Got that last one in, so we'll tighten it up a little more, and then we will uh, tighten that knot and then hide that knot. Got it tied to the end. And we'll go ahead and knot it up. I usually like to go a double knot and then we'll just tuck it in. Once you have it right there, I, I usually use a stick to kind of shove the knot in. Once you get it worked in a little bit, it'll just start, it'll go the rest of the way in. Getting it started is the hard part. And then we'll get that in there. That way there's no string hanging out, no, uh, no leftover piece at all. Nothing poking yet. So you get a nice smooth surface right there. Bulgarian bag. This one was the 50 pounder. So thank you guys uh, for joining us. Now we're ready to hit some work. So thanks again. Hopefully this helped. Uh, hit us up. You got any questions? Thanks.